This week, we need a home security system. We got one. No one's breaking in with the Spikeinator in charge. Right, boy? Because that cat ain't stopping nothing. Maybe we should stay home tonight. Come on. Spike's not letting anyone break in, are ya? Okay, boy. You're in charge. Make me proud. Security boot camp is now in session. Report to duty ASAP. Self defense. Hey, uh, is uh, no. Uh, never mind. Ain't no one protecting nothing till you both learn how to knock someone's lights out. Thanks for volunteering. In self-defense, you want to deliver the first punch. Carpet theme. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, huh? Show me what you learned. <laughs> Carpet theme. See how I did that? Watch closely. <laughs> Shooters, the first line of security. Just takes one P to do the job. <laughs> Very kind of you to volunteer. On the count of three, you run, we'll try to hit you. One. You didn't run. A safe house is a booby trap house. A volunteer, please. Stand there. For reporting funny business. And no funny business from you to either. Got it? to investigate the kitchen granted. Go ahead, go see.
What I tell you, this dog's amazing! Did you do this to the big bad burglar, Spikeinator? So, Ginger, how do you like your home security system now? Got a boy, Spike. Welcome to Domestic Kingdom, where we examine the extraordinary lives of amazing creatures. Today, we spend time with the house cat. Even in play, it's obvious why this skilled hunter is ruler of the domestic kingdom. Let's explore this marvelous animal further as we enter the world of the mighty house cat. The house cat is descended from a long line of ferocious predators. Always on the hunt for his next meal, he stands ready to attack. Here you go, mommy's strong little man. The living room is the house cat's natural territory. But a rival is challenging his authority. The scent of battle is in the air. The wily house cat has put the mouse on notice. This is cat country. Refusing to retreat, the cat firmly holds his ground. A younger, more vulnerable mouse has wandered onto the scene. He certainly has no reasonable expectation of survival, as this fearsome cat is the master of the sneak attack. The cat takes a moment to gather his thoughts. 
then mounts a more vigorous attack. In the domestic kingdom, dominance shifts quickly between these natural rivals. Knowing he's in control, the cunning house cat makes a deal. Which is swiftly rejected. If he is to reclaim what's his, the cat must use his brain, not his brawn. Though using his head can sometimes hurt his head. A lot. Let's take this moment to examine how the house cat can take such punishing blows. It seems nature has equipped this brilliant animal with a brain so efficient and compact that it can barely be seen with the human eye. But if we look closer... Ah, there it is. This cat's brain is divided into two halves. This part is dedicated to finding food, getting rest, and of course, feelings of love. This overstimulated half here, connected by the pituitary gland, is the Jerry Bellum. Enough said. Even at rest, the cat has an uncanny ability to shift his priorities. This young male has spotted a desirable female. He understands if he is to win her affection, he must be single-minded in his pursuit, ignoring all else. He must also be willing to experience the pain of loss. Perhaps the greatest test he will face in finding love is leaving his natural habitat and becoming an outdoor cat. This young male understands the journey ahead will require that he have little regard for his personal safety. The outdoors introduces a new predator that the shrewd house cat knows should be avoided. Having survived this harrowing crossing, he respectfully bids farewell to his adversary. With a danger behind him, very little stands between the cat and the object of his desire. Aware that he must earn his chosen mate's affection, the young male puts his best foot forward. As expected, the house cat faces heavy competition. And clearly, she has fallen for his challenger. A random act of kindness in an otherwise harsh environment renews the cat's spirit. Clearly, the house cat hungers. Ah! 
The house cat tires of his outdoor adventure and chooses to return to his natural environment. But indoor forces are making this difficult. His hope of returning home is fading. Though difficult to watch, his end is near. But this cat is not just any ordinary cat. He is a house cat. And he will sacrifice everything, including his pride, to return to his domain. From the jaws of the mail slot, the cat triumphantly returns. His roar boldly announces his intentions. He is ready to reclaim his territory. Impervious to pain, or his inner kitty, the house cat is determined to show his rivals that he's not letting go of his rule. Success at last. The house cat reclaims his indoor throne. Victory is his in the domestic kingdom. Let's explore this marvelous creature further as we enter the world of the common house mouse. for bad luck. Brilliant work, Thomas. Don't touch that book! It was Mother's, and these were her boots. And this her wand. Oh, how we miss Mummy Dearest. <laughs> Sure, she was difficult and a wee bit hateful. And her temper was frightful. But what we wouldn't trade to have another second with our dear grumpy mummy. We should blow out the candles, BG. Yes, we should. <laughs> Firecrackers instead of candles. You've ruined mummy's cake. We will deal with you after you clean up. So, the witches are a little mad. How bad can it really be? Well, that would be pretty bad. What if you make amends? You do something wonderful to make up for what you ruined. Like, uh, need them something, huh? And what exactly do I do with one sock? Better. <laughs> okay, forget knitting, no knitting. Our nimble minds will figure this out. Bring money back! Pay no mind to this spellbook. Imagine the joy. Don't touch it! That's Mummy's spellbook. It's wicked. It's a second chance for all. Oh, Thomas, Jerry, we're so grateful to have Mummy back. More milk, Thomas. I've got just the spell for you. Three ingredients, that's all. First one, the eye of a newt. <gasps> I'm kidding, relax. I love newts. Hard boiled. <gasps> First, we'll need a hair of a net, freshly plucked. Next 
young wizards, we'll need three goldfish tears. Uh-oh. Finally, electric eel snot. Just a thimbleful. <laughs> now grab Mummy's wand and stir the potion. Mummy's back! The wickedest witch of them all! She's <laughs> Mummy? Now, where were we before my unfortunate demise? Turning villagers into slugs, I believe. Oh, what fun! Maybe we practice on that. Come, Mother. First, let's have tea and catch up. I don't want tea. I want to turn things into other things. Send her back now or everyone will be sorry. Understand? Where's my wand? Someone find it. Now. I'll find it, Mummy. Don't you worry. Mummy. You say one thing and it's the fireplace for you. Fix this, Thomas. Uh, here's your wand, Mummy. But this is a twig. So it is. <laughs> I think I saw it there last. Mercy, I ate the page you're looking for. I'm sorry for not warning you the book was evil. Oh, wait, I did. Listen, you can't send Mummy back. A spell book without a witch is a very sad story. <laughs> what are you? I, I wanted to. That was not nice. <laughs> Give up, cat. I'm not giving you the reversal spell. Ow! Cranky Mouse, that hurt! Never! <laughs> you wouldn't. I never liked that spell anyway. Oh, enough already! You are not a nice mouse. Okay, a deal. I give you a hint on how to reverse the spell if the Cranky Mouse stops tearing out my pages. So? Fine, two clues, whatever. Ready for the first one? It's easier than it seems. Riding a bicycle, drinking water, oh, making empanadas. I like guessing games, is that so wrong? <laughs> okay, okay, second and final clue. Ready? It's in the name. You're bluffing, Mouse! Sure about that? Darn it. <laughs> but these are the same ingredients as before. <laughs> but in reverse. Reversal spell. It's in the name and why it's so easy. It's not all easy. You'll see. Give me that! Oh, we're back! Together again! I've missed you! Not so smart, are you? Any nincompoop knows a reversal spell requires that you turn the wand around! What have I done?! Yes! She's gone! You're a 
bad kitty. <laughs> Just awful torments. There will be consequences for this. More milk, Thomas. 